today on Bill. I was there the yeah, day you was born. Uh, I've been there all your life. Well, yeah. you shouldn't say that you're not my daddy. Family's caught in the chaos. Your problem with your mama, not with me. She's a hoe. Why would he call my mama a hoe? You're about to lose your last chance to me. I can't take anymore. Do you see the tears in her eyes? I got them, too. I want to know what's in that envelope right there. Jack, Ashley. Right now. And thanks for watching. On today's show, we're going to deal with abandonment, deception, threats, and abuse. Not by a friend, an enemy, or a lover, but by one's own family. Please welcome my first guest, Jack, to the show. Jack, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing, good? All right. All right. Jack, relatively young man, why are you here today? Man, I'm here because I'm sick and tired of my daddy. Every, every single time he get mad at me, then all of a sudden I'm not his kid. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting here and raised me all my life. You know, but every time he get mad at me, even since I was little, he say I'm somebody else. Kid, I'm tired of being a milkman, kid. I'm tired of being the guy around the corner, kid. I'm tired of being Joe Smo from around the block, kid. That's just not me. I don't want to hear it no more. I'm tired of it, and I'm tired of asking my mama. I don't want to ask my dad no more. I'm just going to ask Bill, you know? We're going to do it today, but let me ask you, Jack. It's not just your father, not just your daddy is saying when he gets mad, you're not my child. Other people have said, that's not your daddy. Yeah, I mean, my, it's just my mom, my mom mainly, you know, every time I, every time they get into it, every time we get into it, or they get into it, then they arguing about the paternity of me and my uh, brothers and sisters. That's not cool, because we the ones got to live through that and experience that, you know what I mean? And it's not like she just sticking up for me, like she sticks up for me, don't get me wrong, but she don't, she don't like, cause so, hey, this your daddy, this your daddy, stop worrying about Does she stuff. get mad at she, your dad when, when he says you're not my son? Does your mom, no, Darnell, does she go, wait no, a minute, she no, doesn't defend no, it. She, 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 she don't be like, no, that's your kid. She be like, well, I don't know, I did, you know what I'm saying? I do, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, I was talking to this dude for a minute, you know what so I mean? So you're saying I your mean, mama's not but, sure? Yeah, yes, that's exactly whether what I'm not, saying. Whether, and then just barely a couple days ago, here come this all this new guy that I never even heard about, not even that. I never seen this guy. See, the guy my dad always saying is my actual dad. I know this guy personally. You know what I mean? I, I chill What about the dude. appearance? Do you look more like I mean, Timothy or the other I mean, guy? I mean, if you really just, I believe I look like my dad. I know in my heart that that's my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the, just the feeling I get because he raised me all my life. and been. A, Why does he hurt you then? I mean, you would because, think a father's not in the because, business of hurting his son. Because, man, I, I don't know, he just really got some issues going on with himself, with his own security. Like, why would you why would you sit up there and, and say, I'm not your son? And, I mean, I, I, I talk like you, I, I act like you, I walk like you. You know, everything is, is the same, except he just a little darker. You know what I mean? It's like... But it's your not, mom and dad were together, married till you were about 12. They were 12, about 12. And you're about, they, what, 20? I'm 25 now. 25. You know, but So I, for 25 years, you've had a doubt in your mind who is your biological dad you yeah, want to resolve it I mean, today ever since we was little every time they get into it then she you know you know what she said she say i say you know what my uh my daddy say look this is what she say he i go look i know that's my dad because i look just like my dad you know what i'm saying i'm looking at him and, and he look at me we look just like you sit next to each other you know what you know what uh he said you think you look like me you should in the corner <laughs> Have you and your dad gotten a big fight recently? We we didn't got into plenty of fights. We don't. I wouldn't never come to blows with my father because of the respect I have for him. But he would definitely come to blows with me. I already know, but I would never do that because I got more respect from that. You and your sister Ashley, are about the only two who question. And Ashley's going to be here too. No, see, yeah, Ashley's going to be here now. My daddy and, and Ashley, they super close. Close. Me and Ashley was closer together than him and Ashley is. But right Ashley now. wants to know the truth. 
Bowling. today. Yeah, she won. Uh, true, she probably is. And your mom's here too. She probably is that dude. The, 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 you think nah. so? <laughs> do you want to be? Do you want to be Timothy Senior? Yeah, I want to be. I want to be his son. Not only that, I know I'm his son, but I'm tired of him telling me that I'm not every time he get mad. Does he do it to that hurt is, you? That play is a not card fair. That you? hurt my feelings. That, that that just break me down. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real uh, like manly dude. You know what I'm saying? But when he say stuff like that, it just kind of touch me. You know, and then it's time. You know Let's what I'm find out. Today's the day. DNA is going to resolve all this. Please welcome the man Jack Thought was his daddy until just a few weeks ago. Come on out, Timothy. Come on out. I don't know what it's just all about. <laughs> you mad at me? The only way you mad at me was your mother that was a hoe. You know that. I've tried to be your father. You don't call a man's mother a hoe. I was there the day you, you was born. What I'm saying? I was there you the day I'm you saying? was born I'm in the hospital. Up. Were you there the day? In the hospital. Were you there the day? I was the first person. I was, I was the first mom. person to catch my daughter too, but that one mine. I've been I there all your life. Said, you I sit in my seat. It was your mama who was sitting over here. It don't matter, man. It wasn't me. It was your mama. You had your problems too. It was your mama. Problems too. Where have I been? Okay, look. I've always been there, right? Man, that's what. Have I always been there? Man, Where your mother was in there for a little Where was your mother in? It don't matter. Where it does it matter. Don't matter. You keep talking about you been there. I'm there for a little girl. Jack, let's not, sit down. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Let's talk. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Let me ask you. It don't have nothing to do with me. Hold on. That don't have nothing to do with me. Let me go. Even though your mama told me. As soon as you was born, you was my son. I never left you. I stayed there with you. I took care of you all your damn life. All your life. Okay, so why you say you're not my dad? Because you pissed me off. Okay, well, so? So? You beat my daughter. I ain't nobody You tell me you want to whoop my You threw well, bricks through my car man, window. He did that. Did you do you call my car? Like so, man, so, so what? So, man, go man, with that. I done did a whole lot of Your problem with stuff. your mama, not with me. Out of anger. No, your problem, problem with your mother, Jack, not me. Uh, let's get down to emotion a little bit. You can't put It's the problem here from your perspective. Very emotional about Maybe Darnell, the baby mama who's here also. That's Did, the problem. Tell me, I, let me hear why. Why? The because she's a hoe. Man, quit trying to, man. Don't say that about this man. It's the truth. That's you your baby mama. That's his mom. Man, what I'm you gonna do? Hit me? I'm no, no, no. You, you wanna you jump on me? What now? You gonna be fighting on this. I'm gonna be fighting. Man, you gonna man. be fighting by yeah, yourself. You right. I'm gonna be you fighting. You gonna be don't, fighting by yourself. Don't son. call my mama. Boy, no if you put your hand don't on me like I told you, if you ever put your hand on me, if you ever put your hand on me, son, I was there the day you was born. I'll be there the day you die. Okay, well, don't call my mama. What? You what say you're going to be there I'm calling it like I see him. Calm it down. I'm calling it like I see him. You know what? It don't matter. Hey, you ready? It don't matter. Listen. It don't listen, matter. You're 25 listen. years old, exactly. right? Okay, listen. you're a grown man. Okay. Take care of yourself, then. Okay, I've been taking care of myself. Oh, have you? myself for have the last you, five years. Have you? Have you? A couple weeks you called me from Texas. Send me some money, Dad. Send me some money, Dad. Did I send it? Did I send it? I That's a, right. I got to sit there. I done my job. Now do your job. I got to talk to your boy for a moment. Yes. I got to poke my dog doors. Let me talk to him. What ass he bought for my door? Let me. I ain't bought nothing for him. I got 10 grandkids. I got 10 grandkids. If you want something for ass, if you want something ass. And you ain't did nothing for nothing. Timothy, let me talk to your son. You did a little something. I ain't did nothing for my door. Hold on. I ain't did nothing. Why are there such tears? Why is this so emotional? Man, cuz, why would he call my mama a hoe? He shouldn't do it. Your mama got 12 kids. Yes, she do. That's real. Yes, she do. Yes, she do. Yes, she got 11 kids. She got 11 kids, and she got nine of them by the same father. And it, it, I'm, a, I'm my son. So you think? Your mama don't so know who think. her kids is. Okay, but your, your mama don't know who her who the, the baby daddy and none of her kids. My mama, oh, my mama got four kids. Hey, your mama, your so, mama got 11. You know Jack, what? what happens I, if you find out today this is not your dad? I'm not going to find that out because that's my dad. What happened when you read and, the paper? Do you have a doubt? Your mother was you, picked up for prostitution. What happened? Do you have a doubt? And, what you said she not one. I'm just saying. What happened when you found out that? What happened for you when you found out your mother was it a professional escort? Let then you gonna say she not? Guess what? 
This is about your mama. But you know what? You want can, to get physical with me? Go ahead. Shoot talk? the best Give shot. Give him a chance. Get, Whatever. Oh. I know. First of all, I'm 25 years old. Right. Okay? And I'm 53. You 53. That's right. So if I really wanted to get physical, which was nothing that's you That's not really going to happen here. Oh, that's We're what not you believe. Is that what you believe? You a foodie. You lucky. You are a foodie. You lucky. You are a foodie. No, you lucky. You lucky. I got no respect. You Let's do this. A lot more family drama. It's deep now. But it's going to get even more. Stay right there when we come back. Stay right there. This bitter battle is just getting started. You've been in the middle of this. Is, in fact, is that the baby daddy of this man? Family secrets. What am I doing? Don't push me, Joey. Push you to 18 what? years old. Girl, All please. you do when I first met you is my what? friend. Family betrayal. You see, you've done this. It's her fault. It's her fault. It's you sit up your life. Divided. See what I'm saying? Tonight's about broken family betrayal. I have a suggestion that possibly the anger I'm sensing here it has to do with things happened a long time ago. Were you so mad at the marital situation you were in with Darnell, your wife, that you're projecting upon your son the anger from exactly that marriage? What it is. You're projecting it on him. That's Absolutely exactly not. What because it I've is. never been yeah. angry with Jack. You exactly when Jack got 16 you years mama, old, Jack decided that he was mama, a man. So and then he wanted to show one his time, father any respect Is it possible? I don't know if it's, it's true or not. Possible. If she was an escort, if she was a prostitute, you were so angry, you weren't in control. You hated it so much. What you she, divorced her. That, and then, then you're projecting your today. anger upon and your I son and I to make him feel bad. Let me wait. His turn. Right, me. Right, his turn. Man. Go ahead. Man. First of all, I want to go say a lot of things out of respect for my dad, but since you want to call, no respect let him talk. Wanna, you say. See, look, that's why, first of all, I do have respect, but that's why sometimes I choose to disrespect you because you keep saying that no matter how much I respect you. It first hurts of all, First of all, you keep saying my mama a prostitute. What you get picked up on Everson folk, <laughs> on Harper? <laughs> Prostitutes. It was your mama. Well, what? No, it was not. Stop lying. Boy, Come on. Go. You're trying to hurt her. Was... Hey, I don't have no convictions of misdemeanor or felonies on my record. Because what your mama got on hers? I don't care okay, what she then. got. I don't care. Why don't we ask okay, her? Then. Let's what ask her. Saying? Timothy, let's ask her. Please welcome Darnell, his ex-wife. Look, and also she, Jack's mother. Darnell, come on out. Darnell, please shed some light on this. I see a young man broken down and crying. I see a father using words as a weapon to make him feel bad because he feels bad. Yeah. Darnell, you've been in the middle of this. Is, in fact, is that the baby daddy of this man, yes or no? Now, yes. be honest. But haven't you said before you're not sure? Yep. All right, now what is it? Yes? I wished he wasn't. You wish he wasn't, but you think he is? Yes. Did you have relations with other men other than him at the time of conception? Right after he started doing me like that, I sure did. You did? You damn you straight. Were out, you were out there. You damn straight. Were you on the street at all? No, I wasn't on no damn street, and he ain't never picked me up off no street. Yeah. He taught me how to be a, a dom in his domination and all that stuff. I when I did that what? stuff for two months, when I did that what? stuff for two months, We got you a are a habitual liar. That's your problem. Save, and that's why lying, your sons and your lying, kids are lying, confused. Stop lying. Oh, stop lying. Darnell, we're here to find uh, out I, I never, if this man and exactly. Ashley, we got to find out DNA. We got to find out. You have four you kids. Two are, are lying. Lying. There's two in doubt. In Jack life. is in doubt and Ashley's in doubt. You have a doubt. They got a reason to be. Because of your behavior. Yep. All right. We got to get it out here, honey. Today we're going to find out. I'm telling the truth about that. What about you? Push me, Joey. Push you to what? 18 years old. All you do when I first met you is my best friend. Jack's sister and possibly right? Timothy's daughter, Ashley. Ashley, right? come on you out. You want to drink right now? You want to drink right now? Let's give Ashley. Ashley, sit down, honey. How y'all doing? I want to know.
even know. Uh, that's so pretty. See what I'm saying? This is the type of I'm talking about. All right, about. Ashley. Yeah, everyone's had a say. Ashley. Tell me what's going on. I just want to say, first of all, I didn't move the chair because I'm out here arguing with y'all. I just, I just really disagree with the stuff that y'all saying. I'm not saying that he right. But what I'm saying is that you cannot get mad at dad for questioning the paternity when it's mama fought. It, I mean, I agree. Why, no, why, I'm I'm saying, one question, I agree. Why are you taking a DNA test to prove whether or not he's your biological dad? If you, if, you got to have a doubt. I you mean, got, you took a test. I did take a he test. He took a test. And I do, I do have my doubts. Because of Darnell's behavior. Yeah, I have my doubts because of things that my mother has said to me. What That's is? What did? What did your mom say to you? Tell. What, what did your mom tell you? My mother has told me on more than one occasion that she didn't know if he was my father or not. Thank you. And and What's I. What's wrong with me telling? Is truth? that true, Darnell? And, yep. And That's I just. True. I just. Same thing like, about Jack. You're not sure. I'm not exactly sure. I know I started messing around. I he was, why would you wait? He was, he was in the streets. Why, why would you wait 25 true. years? Why would you wait yes. 25 I years? 16 years till I divorced him. Uh, but why would you wait 25 years on a DNA that? test? I'm, listen, he could have been I'm, I'm dead. I'm gonna tell you why I'm mad at Daddy for saying that. Cause it is right here. That's the Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? We don't judge your mama for saying that. That's what I'm saying though. That's what I'm saying though. You mad? When your mama was nowhere to be found, where was your daddy at? That don't matter. That don't matter. That don't matter. That don't matter. Do you want this man, in fact, to be your biological dad, Ashley? Yes, I do. Do you want him to be your father? Of course. And Darnell, you want to know, don't you? Yes. You got to know. Uh, yeah. Did you have a DNA test done with another no man to no determine if he was your yes. father? Yes. 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 And how'd that turn out? He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't my father. You must have had a who the baby But you put daddy one man with a test clue. and it yes, wasn't him. Yes, I have a clue. Yes. No, you don't I know have exactly a clue. who the possibilities are. You don't have a clue. Because I know what I was doing while you was out in the streets. Who was Adela Daddy? Oh. Who well, you said Adela Daddy? No was. names. They're not here. But you said and it was not. But who Timothy? But you had to pick one man to be tested and it wasn't him. You picked this other guy. Well, y'all didn't even know my mother did. It was somebody else. I guess she had a. How many with possibilities are there, Darnell? For her, one. For him, one. I believe. One other. No, I hope it's no for me. I mean, you can go because no, you was a hoe, not me. You was in the street tricking Man, and everything. I was, was a hoe. I was a hoe. What they got so to do with the pertaining to your swear. children? He needs to swear with thousands and thousands of women. So he is stepping on the same pictures and got her. Regardless, though, he's doing it. the cheese on the cracker DNA test results. Stay right there. A daughter's pain. You want to see your mom? Yes and no. Over a mother's betrayal. I had to raise your damn kid. Where were that you at when they had choice. nowhere to go? You never go I wasn't. Don't miss the battle. I never abandoned you my my kids. Parents. I never you abandoned did? my kids. Weeks. I never abandoned we my kids. Not and no matter how hard I try to get close to my mom, she just brushes it off her shoulders and tries to be my friend versus my mother. You're not there for me. I feel like you should be there for my kids. Without a question, you have a chance with my kids, but you don't, you're about to lose your last chance with me. I can't take anymore. Today's guest can finally let bottled rage and resentment out that's been brewing throughout years of furious family feuding. Please welcome my next guest, Shikandra, to the show. Shikandra, how you doing? Hi, okay. Why are you here today, Shikandra? To confront my mother because she hasn't been there. Me and my siblings' whole life, she's too busy trying to run the streets, date younger guys, not be a grandmother anything when did it begin when did you first have memories of your childhood when you were three four five six years um, old i was four years old i was put with my father's side of the family she didn't try to reach out she didn't try to find me and at age 15 i was put in a group home in a foster home and she still wasn't trying to reach out is she still trying to hurt you yes did it stop no. at the age of four five six seven eight nine it continues through today how what does she do she's called cps on me um because of my kids, a situation happened with an ex of mine to where my son got hit in the middle of everything and she called CPS. CPS came out and they didn't even have to tell me who called. I knew who called. It was her. 
she thought she was doing the right thing, but you have seven kids. You weren't there. You haven't been a mother. So when she finally came back into your life, she caused the CPS to take away your kids. My kids never got taken away. Temporarily. Because I'm a damn good mother. I never abandoned my but kids the way she did But she called the authorities us. on it. Now, you know, I don't have enough fingers for this, but she has seven kids by seven different men? Yes. Seven yes. by seven? Yes. And she spent years in prison too, didn't she? Yes. She's in jail and she chose men, I would assume drugs, yes. and criminal misbehavior yes. over you. All of us, yes. Why are you here today, Shikandra? What do you want to see? Either this needs to be resolved or I got to wipe her completely out of my life. I can't move on with my life being a wife to my husband because I have so much hurt, anger because of her. Why do you want to... Why do you want to go back in time? A lot of times people, it's time to move on and forget. But you're here today because you love your... I love my mom to death. I can't her. stand her ways, but I love her to death. That's my mother. And you have a sister you haven't seen in two years. Yeah. Born addicted to crack. She was. Yeah. Born addicted to crack. And, and mama lost that child immediately. Yes. You want to see your mom? Yes and no. You want to confront her? Yes. And you want to heal? Yes. And you want to get better? Yes. Please welcome Shikandra's mother, Danette, to the show. Danette, come on out. You know what, Tasha? You say you've been the best mama, but when your lights was out in the rain, who came and got the kids? Who took care of your kids okay. while you was out okay. some corner? And I got it from you. And I got it from you. So and what? I got it from you. So your what? other two daughters did it so too. And, and you did so it. And like you, from you. you the mom of like but my, I never Don't abandoned you my the kids. Parents. I never you abandoned did? my kids. Weeks. I never abandoned we my kids. Months at a time. 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 What happened? Who stayed, who stayed in my house for two months at a time? She brought you here, Jeanette, for a reason. She brought you I here. I love you to death, but you're not going to sit up here and clown me like this. Let's talk about it. Not about oh, clowning. Over here, honey. Over here. Let's talk about it. Danette. You came here to resolve a problem, not to cause additional ones. You have seven kids with seven men, is that correct? And she got three by three. All right. Maybe she learned three. from her mother. Okay, and three. maybe I'll learn it from my mama. But today, why don't we break it? Okay, we can break it. Do you think we can break it. she wants a relationship? And I want she wants a relationship she wants too. grandma to have a relationship with her kids, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Then why you dangle them like a carrot every time you want something, then that's got to be with the kids. You damn right. Let's talk Ten about how when you right. tried to take my son from me when why? I was in Oklahoma. Why? 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 Did you, why? Oh, the first time when the boy got hit in the uh, private area by a belt? What do you call her boyfriend? Don't you use the N-word to describe her oh, boyfriend? Oh, I've never, and you know better. Tell me I use that word, Chuck, and I slap no, you, you in your You just love the word. No, it's never you the end. You want to be word. my friend. I don't want you to be my friend, B. My so mother. why you tell me you want me to be your friend? Because I want you to. I so want to make it a part to you. I want, want to be able to be a f. Be your mom. Who's gonna get Which me? one is it? You, you can't have a book. You're my mama. I don't break you. Break you what you want from me? I had to raise your damn kids. Really? You all of them lived with me. All of your kids have lived with me. Where were you at when they had nowhere to go? Where were you at when they needed a song to call you? You've never. You've never been there. I wasn't even here. You've Does she been. use her grandkids against you as a Damn weapon? Right she does. Tell me how. I don't want to cause any problems. Tell me how that happens. You tell me you don't. Tell me you don't, child. Yes. You do. Yes, she you does. You want to hurt her by taking... The she wants to hurt me by doing... That's <laughs> yeah. Retaliation. you damn right. See Two wrongs saying? don't make a right, exactly. honey. In my book, it does. So, exactly. Exactly. It's all to me. So she hasn't been a mama. Like she does that, child. She hasn't been a mama. You owe it to my kids. Let's talk about this. Did you have birth to you a crack addicted Yes, babe. I did. You were on crack. Yes, and I you, was. And you left her when she was four years old. I didn't leave her nowhere. My mama sent her with her daddy because of a lie my mama inflicted. Danette, talking about how about a little acknowledgement of guilt, responsibility? I didn't do it. No mama should have a crack addicted baby. Oh, I, I take full responsibility. I take full responsibility for that. And she's here yes, today. And, okay. And she judges you. Do you think she judges you as a prostitute? She came. She was one, too. And we got it from our mama. Is that true? We got it, it from our mama. It runs in the family. All of us. From your perspective as a child, what did you miss growing up as a little girl? I miss girl? being able to come talk to my mother. Because where was she? Nowhere to be found. 
didn't know anything about sex because where was she? Nowhere to be found, probably in prison. Then came to babies, where was she? Nowhere. I couldn't even ask her that anyway because she wasn't a mother. Responsibility. I'm not the perfect mother. It's what you said. I take full responsibility for my foul actions. I do. I'm a grown woman. Let's do this, honey. But when you going to take responsibility for yours? What did I do? What? What? A lot yes. more coming up, including that crack addicted babies here as a grown up woman. Stay right there. A bittersweet reunion. I was born with drugs in my system. You know, crack? Uh, meth. Do you know each other, uh, mother and daughter? Do you actually have a relationship? And the answers everyone has been waiting for. Tell them. Look at Ashley. Look at Jack. I'm glad it's all out. Me too. Now we can all go home and live a happy life, right? Today's about broken families and betrayal. Mama, nobody is perfect. No one here is the mother or father of the year. But there's a wide disparity between being the mother of the year on one hand and giving birth to crack addicted babies on the other. And you're right. There's a wide gulf there. I take You've full said, responsibility for the then how about, that I've taken. How about looking and at I her? I never said don't that look I was at me, a don't look at that. person. Look at your and blood. I love you and I'm here today so that we can become a mother and a daughter. But don't ask me to be your best friend at the same time. Don't, don't ask me to. I don't want you to. Don't what do you want from her now, Mom? I want a daughter and I want my grandkids. And stop dangling them like they're a diamond in the rough. They are mine. Okay, but they're my grandkids. So they either my grandkids and you let me see my grandkids. Do you see you the don't. tears in her eyes? I got them too. Don't think I wasn't in the back crying. All right, let's do this. What do you want from your mom at this point in your life? I, 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 I heard an apology. It was not, not well delivered, but I heard an apology. I heard an acknowledgement, consciousness of guilt. I heard that one on your side of the fence. What do you want from her? I want her to be there. I want her to be a mom. I want to be able to talk to her and say things to her in confidence without her trying to use it against me. This is a woman who deeply loves her mother and wants a relationship. Will you accept it and not be like two bowling balls bouncing, but be like sponges that come together? Is there a possibility today is the day that we change the arc of this relationship? Yes. Mama? Yes. Let's do this. We have one more problem we've got to resolve. Please Ayana. welcome Shikandra's sister, Danette's daughter, Ayana, to the show. Ayana, come on out. Right here, honey. Hi. Right there. Ayana. Okay. How long has it been since you've seen your mom? Uh, three years. Three years? Talk about the circumstances of your birth. Well, I was actually born with drugs in my system. You know, crack? Uh, yeah. Meth, actually. Meth? Crack. It was I crack papers. and or meth? Yes. It was crack. It was never and meth. And I was taken right away. What are your memories of being two, three, four, five, six years old? I mean... I wasn't there. She wasn't. Do you even know? She tried, but it didn't, you know, Do you she... know this woman? Do you know each other? Uh, mother and daughter? Do you actually have a relationship? You don't know her and you don't know... Man. No. No. We tried. How did you try? Times, but things but just never... But no, she chose other people who were seeing my other men over us. Men. I mean, she called. Prostitution. But, drugs. Yes. yes. Buying and selling. Yes, since I was younger. Prison. Yep. Doing disgusting things to get money. Yep. She chose that. I did. You did it all. Let I it have. out. Let it out. I have. And you're a mother now. Yes. You know what it's I, like to be a good mom. Yes. I love being a mom. It's just... What's, you your know, relationship, I, what's your relationship like with Shikandra? It's great. I love my sister. You two are united together. Yep. Is there any hope, Ayana, is there any hope in this relationship? Tell your mom, it, wait. I mean, Tell I, want, your mom. I want things to change. I want you to call. You have it. You know what? When I had my son, you never called. I didn't know until your son was like six months How long old. after your son was born Five did your old. mom finally get a hold of it? How long this was This is the first time. No. He's a year. This is 14 months. 14 months. 14 months. No, I've I got have not talked to you at Ayana. I have not talked to you. 14 months. I talked to you, Ayana, at at your at you, I mean, you talked through. You talked through my months. auntie. I've you never. You never you called me through Brenda's house. I 
Ayana, do you want to deliver That's an right. ultimatum? You want to say something to your mom today? Because she says 14 months. You were, by any fair, objective standard, a bad mother. I'm, I'm not saying I wasn't. What good message mom. you want to give your mom? But I'm trying. Look, and I've been my, trying. Not trying hard, according I to Ayana. I want you to try harder. Listen, listen. That's all. What I do want you want in this do. relationship, Ayana? Be Iana? in the real. Just. Be there. Just call. Be there for stop my son. Stop changing your number and I'll stop changing my Okay, then. but we you know. Ayana, what do you want from your mom, Danette? I just want her to be a mom. I want her to be a, a grandma to my child. Now, what do you say? Okay. I love you guys. That's why I'm here. I mean, that's I've why heard, I'm here letting you guys. But you do need to understand, we've heard, say, heard all this. Saying. I've heard all this when I was younger. I've heard all this. I'm tired. I want to find. I'm 26 years old. I'm finally a mother. I, I just, I just. You need to be a grandma. My mom's gone. My adopted mom. You know she's gone. I know. Don't I know. you? Is today the day, Danette, that you give up the accusations and the excuses, and from this day forward, live. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow ain't happened. Today is a present. It is the presence. And today's the day. Will you accept this new role and change and not yell, scream, holler, and shout, but be a loving mother and a loving grandmother? Are you willing to do this? Yes. Do you accept? I really hope, I, I really hope this works. But I tell you what. I really hope so. Words are many. Deeds are precious. I've heard words my whole life. And you want to see deeds. Same way. Shocking DNA test results coming up and more family drama. Stay right there. DNA drama, but also a lot of things going on with family dif difficulties, including what's happening in my left. But Darnell, during the break, we had a little bit of a breakdown. What's going on right now with you? Tell me what's happening here. This relationship is toxic, toxic as can be, isn't it? The, you, you've been divorced for so many years. It don't make any difference. Exactly. It's She's over. Still bitter. She's still bitter. I'm not bitter, bitter baby. But I really divorced bitter, you. Bitter, what are you bitter. talking about? I divorced you. You bitter. You the one bitter. I divorced you. Bitter about what? What are you talking about? I'm bitter. I lose nothing that was to be the happiest thing about. I did for what myself. What did I lose? That was the happiest what thing have I did you done for myself. Divorcing you. You the one who worked that two years. Let's stop this. This is this is about Jack and Ashley. It's not about you two anymore. They are entitled to know who their daddy is. You're a habitual liar. How much rock have you cooked up for us to try to sell? You start smoking. Tons of it. Tons of it. So shut up You taught me all that. I taught you. You what? Talking to Please. We We're not going to litigate this divorce. That's what it's about, though. That's what Jack, it's about. Jack, you want to know. Y'all both know she's still know. bitter. Y'all just want to know what's in that envelope Lord, right there. Seen. That's why I want to know. Let's do it. Jack. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Darnell. Yeah. You have a doubt in your mind, right? Uh, uh, that's his daddy. Let's see. Let's see. He so is see. He is your biological dad. Oh, I've never seen two people fight so much and love so much at the same time. That's it, man. Look at that. Look at that percentage. Jack, look at that percentage. 99.9999999. Daddy, what's in your heart right now, man? Yeah. You look to me like a hard nut, but you just got cracked. For that. Yeah. Timothy, you don't owe my Timothy, you don't owe her nothing. She done this. It's her fault. It's her fault. And she you sit up here lying the whole yeah. damn yeah. show. They don't owe her nothing. For that one, no more. No more. No more. No more threats of beating. Never. No more. No more. That's it. Darnell, are you happy with this result? I've never. Yeah, I'm very happy with this result. I already knew the result. I know. Look at him. No, you didn't. Let's go to Ashley. And the whole audience will tell you. Just like him. You didn't know. But you didn't know. You didn't know. I wish he wasn't. Ashley. Wasn't the dead. Ashley. I wish he wasn't the dead. Hold on, Darnell, honey. Ashley, you had another man test it recently yeah, to find did. out if he was ago. your dad. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, it turned out it. no. Right. And you really thought he was. I did. No. She did. I wondered. But Darnell she thinks did. there's other men. Yeah, I thought that was your dad. I did. Uh, I did. I'm Ashley. Playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Leave her alone. Sit back. So Timothy is your father.
Timothy, what's in your heart? <laughs> tell them. Look at Ashley. Look at Jack. Tell them. I don't have to tell them. They know I've always been there for them. I, I never, just want to say this, though. Never, never I appreciate my kids. the fact that he took That's care of us show. our whole life knowing that it was a possibility that we wasn't his kids. Never one time did yeah. he ask for a DNA test. For real. No, no. Darnell, it's over. It's over. I'm glad it's over. This is the father of those two kids. Thank it's you. over. Okay. It's done. And, okay. and all of this anger between you two, deal with that off stage. They came here to get answers, and they got answers. More family drama coming up. Stick around. Two families broken by a mother battling addiction and prostitution. Who took care of your kids okay. while you was out there? And a father with DNA doubts. Have I always been there? For a long Where was your mother at? It don't matter. Where it does it matter. matter. With the families on today's show, we have dug deep and exposed raw nerves. Where do they go from here? I brought in Dr. Jeff Gardier to sort things out. Yeah. Jeff, how you doing? Let's go this way. Yeah. This show did not begin to relitigate a divorce some 10 or 15 years ago. This show began with Jack and Ashley wanting to know if all of these rumors were true or false about who, in fact, uh, is their father. We have now put those rumors to rest. Where does this family go from here now that we have the answers? Well, Darnell and Tim, I'll say this. Um, you, own a, you own apology to your children, and I'll tell you why. You have both used them as weapons against uh, one another. Right. Yep. And one of the things... One of your, uh, well, l let me ask you, how long have you been uh, divorced? Uh, 14 years. 14 minutes? 14 Did you, 14, 14 minutes? Because that's what it feels like. Yeah. You haven't let that pain go. Uh, your wife, yeah, your wife at the go. time, for whatever, for whatever the reason was, and they've gone back and forth about drug use and so on, feeling abandoned. She cheated on you. You were doing your thing on the street. You both hurt each other mortally. Now it's time to let your children live their lives, yeah. and you're just going to have to settle this. You're going to have to Agree. You're, going to, you're going to have to agree to disagree on this. Darnell, I know it's been very painful for you. I know it was painful for you to be out on the streets and doing the things that you did. But because you were hurt, us. hold on, because you were hurt by him. I know you were hurt by what she did, perhaps in reaction to what you did. The important thing is, both of you did the best that you could. Be there for your children sure now. And let's, let's move, move on. on. Jeff, the nets in the middle. Are they fights? You're trying to mother. instigate You're fights between them? Stop and, and stop. Please. Let it go. Stop putting her down. Stop calling her. Hold on. Stop calling her those names in front I'm of your children her names because they go and you call the prostitute. I've never called her name before. You call the Let prostitute. Let it go. Have I ever? Not to us. Hey, listen. Listen. Here's the deal. You call a prostitute in front of your kids, you your kids, your kids, show. your kids will start feeling, you your You're kids will start here. feeling like they're prostitutes and hoes. Don't do it. Respect her so your kids can grow up okay. All right. Quickly, Danette. Jeff, Danette's in the middle of this. She's led a life that I think she has severe regret over. How does someone older in life look back upon their life? as they enter the September, October of their years and have such regret and such pain, they project it upon their children. How does Danette get over this? Well, what Danette has to do, what you have to do, my love, is allow your children to let you be that whipping board, and I'll tell you why. They were very, very hurt by the things you did in life. That being said, young ladies, let me tell you, that's not a life that she chose, but Danette, more than anything, so that your children can grow up healthier and not repeat the same patterns in their relationships, you have got to allow them to talk to you, as Bill said, communicate and deal with the hurt and the anger from the past so that you can move on. Gotta move forward. When we continue with the bottom line, for more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com.
guest on the show, get some closure and find some peace. But here's the bottom line. There's nothing on earth more important than family. They should be there to support you when you wobble and pick you up when you fall. But when those who are supposed to help and protect you fail in that job, try first to forgive rather than to fight. Anger and resentment will only make the wounds worse. This may sound trite, but there's nothing more true in order to heal that you first have to show love. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. that his kids were in fact his kids and quit using them yeah. as a weapon. He broke down like a little boy. Well, I think the problem is, is that he really was their father their whole lives. And only within the last few weeks or so did he start to question it or did the kids question it. So I think he was angry. He was hurt. Now, how about those two? Now, like Jeff said, they've been divorced like 14 years, not 14 months. <laughs> Clearly. Years, and they still are doing this yeah. to each other. Clearly, there's a lot of hatred there. But they got to separate.